By now, everybody knows that the tear is by far and above the best weapon in Modern Warfare 3, zombies. But what if I said there was another gun that is very similar to the tear, and its name is the Basilisk? So today, I want to find out if the Basilisk is just as good or better than the best gun in the game. All right, we've got our Basilisk, and straight off the rip, I can already tell this has a much tighter, like, hipfire spread than the tier. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident this is gonna be a good day for us. I'm also gonna get myself all juiced up on the goodies, and yes, I do have a sigil chilling in my backpack because obviously I wanna go try and mess around in the in the uh, the dark ether zone in a little bit but first and foremost we got some bounty contracts to take down actually never mind i think we're gonna go do this deliver cargo contract first people always ask me like why don't i do the deliver cargo contracts in these videos and i only do bounty contracts a i like doing the bounty contracts because it displays how good the gun is and B, they're just a lot more fun. They're like straight up, they just are. <laughs> I just enjoy running around shooting things a lot more than I do driving vehicles in Call of Duty. Like crazy, I know. <laughs> Considering I spawn right next to that rift, I've already got myself a nice couple of perks on the go. I might as well just grab the cargo contract. I've got myself some decoys. Nice little 5k off the rip is exactly what you want. And I just hope I don't get bullied by zombies because I don't have any spare plates. That's kind of the only thing. That's honestly the other thing as well why I don't do these contracts immediately off the rip because you only spawn in with three contra uh, three plates. So until they give us uh, the wallet system, or not the wallet system, the X-Fill thingy system from DMZ. Oh, I played so much of MW2, huh? <laughs> um... This probably won't ever be my go-to thing straight off the rip in a game because I do get a bit worried that I'm just gonna die. I'd love it if this just gave me like an absolute heater off the rip. Know what I'm saying? Nice little flawless crystal. Nice little refined crystal. Maybe like a legendary ether tool. Just like something good, please. Or it can give me two PhDs. I do actually need that, so I will take that and I'll steal that and I'll steal that. I'll not take the cry freeze. Actually, you know what? First and foremost, I've got a nice chunk of zombies chasing me. Okay. 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 It's doing the thing. It's killing zombies. Level tier three zombies. Obviously, the main thing is how good is it against HVTs. That is that is always my main. Like, if a gun is good against HVTs, it's probably gonna be like just a banger overall. Like most guns in this game are like a high like rarity and a high pack punch level. They're pretty good against zombies. Let's be honest. Most of the guns are pretty good against zombies. But if they're good against HVTs, that is when you can really tell like the good guns apart from like the best guns. And it is pretty good. It's not better than the tier at taking him down, but it is pretty good. I, I can definitely tell it isn't as strong against HVTs than the, the tier is so far, but it is definitely strong against zombies. That is good. Like, it's, yeah, one barrel. Okay, two barrels against heavy armored zombies from that range, although I think I missed his head. Taking zombies down with ease. We like that. We do like that. We're already sitting pretty on 12,000 big ones. So we do one more bounty contract. And then I have tier three pack punch already, which is pretty insane. <laughs> 10 minutes in, tier three pack punch. I do just hope that this gun can hold up against... Uh, level three hvts because if it can't i'm gonna be a little sad i really do hope this is just as good as the tier because if it is then we have two absolute bangers for when one gets nerfed <laughs> although i don't really think the tier is ever gonna get nerfed let's be honest if the hower can live as powerful as it did all year long i believe the tier will have no problem but like it does do a lot of damage like the tier would probably already have him dead in that first magazine or those first like magazines i should say but like, you know, it's good. It just is good. I was a bit worried that this wouldn't actually hit as hard as the tier does, because I know this gun has obviously been through quite a lot of nerfs over the uh, the MW2 year and like whatever. But like, it still, it still packs a punch, you know? Pun not intended. Yeah, Mangler as well, already dead basically. Like with ease, with ease. Like, I think this is probably definitely a gun that I'd use if I didn't have the tier leveled up, because obviously I already had this leveled up from MW2 year. Like, if you're someone who's just getting the game and you've been playing MW2 a lot and you have this gun leveled, it's definitely going to be, like, a good substitute weapon until you get the tier leveled up. But I don't think it's 
better than the tier. Definitely not at its current level. Maybe if you get it to like legendary and then level three pack a punch, it's probably on the same playing field as the tier. But at the current level it's at, it's definitely not better than the tier at the same level, if that makes sense. But you know, who knows? Maybe level three pack a punch just sends this thing to the moon. I will say, I definitely think it looks better than the tier. Like it definitely wins that conversation for me. <laughs> All about the aesthetics. It's, yeah, okay. You hit those headshots, these zombies stand no chance. It's got decent range as well. That you're doing good damage at, like, a nice, like, medium range, I'd say. Like, you're not gonna kill something from that far away, but, like, it will do damage to them. <laughs> it's just, it's just good. It's just good. Oh, the disciple. Ugh. But luckily, I do have dead wire, so this shouldn't be too difficult. I don't know what it is, but, like, these, these level 3 HVT disciples are by far and above the hardest enemies to kill in the game. I don't know why. I just, I hate them. I struggle against them so much. Especially when they're in, like, big open areas like this. But thankfully, I do have dead wire, so hopefully we can just get a nice early stun on him and then just bully him. Go over there. Oh, it's not doing great damage to this geezer. Actually, no, it is doing pretty good damage to him. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. It's just like, it's very difficult to gauge. It's not doing as well as I'd hope. What's hitting me now? Oh my God. There's a mimic. Oh, <laughs> why does everything feel the need to spawn in and then chase me down when I'm trying to take down a goddamn HVT? Okay, I can actually now confidently say, definitely don't think it's better than the tier. I definitely don't think it's better than the tier, which honestly, I'm kind of... Oh, can I, like, have my gun, please? Jesus Christ, you're going to spend six years caressing it now as well instead of reloading it? As I was saying, it's definitely not better than the tier. Definitely not. Like, the tier would probably already have that Disciple dead with the amount of times I shot it. The fact that this Disciple is deadass more interested in leeching me than he has the 52 zombies chasing me is a bit annoying. But, all in all, <laughs> day's work well done. Like, it will kill things. Like, it will. But it's definitely not going to kill things as comfortably as the tier. Like, if you want, like, a little bit more of a challenge, a little bit more of a fight, this is your go-to gun. If you just want to bully everything, use the tier. Use the tier. Just use the tier. I just really wish when you pack a punched it, you got more than five rounds in the magazine. That's kind of the same complaint I have with the tier. You know? Like, why out of all of the guns that were that you pack a punch, this is the one you've got to be somewhat, like, cautious with when giving it ammo. Like, just, nah, I want, I want 12 rounds a magazine. <laughs> when pack a punched. Let me have some fun. Let me just obliterate everything. Although, to be fair, that's probably why they only gave it five, because they knew you would obliterate everything with it. God. <laughs> it's so good just having another yeehaw blasty boy in the game. I love it. Can we just make all of the guns like this in the future, please? I gotta fight all this, a disciple, a dog, and that big turd over there. Are you kidding me? With a subpar tier? Okay, it does... It, it hurts him very well. We reload the gun. How are you hitting me from there? You're just like three feet between us, pal. The fact that I have to like constantly scan my surroundings as if I'm playing friggin' Warzone as well. Just to make sure no zombies are gonna try and sneak up behind me and bully me. <laughs> is ridiculous. Like, I like the intensity of the tier 3 zone, but there are times where I just kind of wish I could fight the friggin' target without having to face off against 200 zombies. No, no leech for you. Die, please. Die, please. Die, please. Thank you. Give me some goodies. God's sake. <laughs> I love it when the game just does not give me good rewards in the tier 3 zone. It's so nice. It makes me feel so rewarded. <laughs> There's a mega A-bomb below me, and I might go take him out. Even though I know I have a HVT mega A-bomb to go and fight, I do just kind of want to test the waters to see what this can do against a regular uh, A-bomb. Perfect. Okay. Yep, that, that hurts him. That hurts him very well. How did you get there? Oh my god. He just teleport. I swear to god he just learned how to teleport. Either that or he did like the weirdest like circular run around me. <laughs> that freaked me out, I'm not gonna lie. Did not like that at all, pal. Okay, yeah, we're doing this thing again where you do the same attack 16 times. Yeah, we'll try and fit your fat ass through that gap, you dingus. Yeah, okay, this will hurt Mega Abominations. This will kill them pretty, pretty easily, if I'm being honest. You know, it, it definitely doesn't do the damage that the tier does. But it does do, like, a decent amount, I'd say. <laughs> the way they jump around like that is so goofy. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> it's such a dumb animation, bro. I love it. Like, just watch. And then, and then, and then. Oh, he missed. And then, ah! <laughs> so much sass in that jump. Open. Thank you. It's a good gun. It's a good gun. I will give it that. It is a very good gun. There are so many zombies in this area. Oh, my God. And I have to kill this big... Oh, there's two of them. Oh, that's cheating. 
Why? Uh, you can't just spawn a HVT Mega Abomination and then a regular Abomination next to him. Like, this isn't a two-for-one deal, pal. I will gladly kill them both, though. Don't get me wrong. Okay, the, yeah, the tier would have not let that situation happen. <laughs> I might put down this sentry gun because there's a lot of enemies up my ass right now. Don't turn around and they're not there. Don't turn around and they are not there. The annoying thing is as well, is this abomination will just follow me all over the gaff. Whereas the other one will stay in like his nice little area. So actually, this is a good idea. We bring him away and we kill him. I might just let this guy take on the, <laughs> the A-bomb who's just wrapped up next to me because I don't want to deal with it. I might just let him deal with it. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm not gonna lie, I'd be a lot more confident if I did have the tier right now. But I don't have the tier right now. And I'm not as confident. And this isn't cheating, I'm using it against the baby mega abomination. Not the good, the big boy. The brain rot, I might actually take that. I am gonna take that. Do you know what? Brain rot's probably the biggest thing for me right now, just so I can have a friend. I wonder if you can brain rot the mega abominations. I haven't seen it happen yet, which makes me feel like probably no. Pretty sick if you could. Ooh, don't mind if I do. That was kind of worth my time after all. <laughs> Never mind, because I have one bullet. Yeah, I'm pretty confident in saying this is actually a B-Tech tier. Like, if you want a snake shot revolver pistol, use the tier. This gun is good, but it is gonna leave, like, it's gonna put you in a lot of situations like this where you're just fighting for your life constantly because you can't kill things quick enough. You have that in your gob, you dumb dumb. I got a sigil from that as well. Now I've got two. Nice. Actually, uh, what do I, I don't need the meat. Are there deadbolt turrets in Dark Ether? I don't remember if there is or not. I don't think there is. There might be, though. I don't know. I've actually not seen any, so I don't think there is. So I might drop that and then go get myself some more plates. I could also drop a sigil. I don't need two. And then just stock up on plates because I do also want to get more Kazmiers as well. Because Kazmiers are goated in the Dark Ether. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go see if I can find someone. Give oh, there's no one in the tier three zone anymore. God damn it. <laughs> they all run away. I got four Kazmiers, I got two decoys, I got 14 plates, I got two self-revives. I'm feeling pretty good. I also think having Brain Rot in the Dark Ether is going to be such a big play. I was going to say I could try and get a dog, because there is a dog house in the Dark Ether, but I don't know if I want to do that, <laughs> really. I don't know if it's worth it. And we're just going to get right in there. As usual, fuck the escort mission. We're going straight for the extractors, and then we do the outlast, we see what we get, and then we get out. Okay, it actually does still bully these tier 4 zombies though, which is very nice. Also, the the the, uh, the icon design for the tier 4 zombies is sick. I love it. Like the Dark Ether like sigil thing. Pretty nice. I do like it. Better than just the Roman numerals. Yeah, as per usual, grab the bunny and then just, no, jump please and run. Thanks game. <laughs> Thanks for the sabotage game. I appreciate that one. The only enemies I genuinely hate fighting are the dogs really in this game. All right, Kazmi is in. Throw that down. You're gonna get... We're gonna overload this. Hurry up. Overload. My reload just... Oh my god, there's a Mimic here now as well. Go away. I have work to do. Oh dear. This is bad. Get me out of the animation, please. Hurry. All right, run away. Run away, run away, run away, run away. It is a very fun gun to use, though. I'm not gonna, like, deny that. It is a very, very fun weapon to use. That might just be me, though, really enjoying using, like, akimbo weapons this game. I'm just being hit by absolutely everything. Like, they are relentless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is why I use the Kazmiers. They are just better than the decoys at this certain, like, area. Pop that down. I'm actually gonna take him out because I have time. Never mind. He's gonna be my friend. And he's just gonna go bully everything for me, so I don't need to waste the Kazmier. And there we go. Easy peasy. I wasn't worried at all. Go away. Oh my god. Goddamn dogs. I swear they have dead silence, man. There's so many zombies running up those stairs. Ah, I don't like this. Where do they all- Oh my god, where do they all come from? Oh my good lord. I'm gonna die. I don't have any plates for this. And there is literally 50 zombies behind me. And about 20 more in front of me. There is so many zombies chasing me. I'm genuinely, like, a bit scared as to where they've all just appeared from. Just have one of those, please. Like, this again, the issue with only having five bullets a gun and taking, like, three or four bullets to kill zombies. It just... You know, it's not a great feeling. I swear when you kill a zombie in this area, two more just spawn next to you. Like, dead ass. There should, like, why, like, how is there this many zombies in this area? Like, there's no way. Like, it will do a job in this zone, don't get me wrong. But you're gonna constantly have your ass, like, <laughs> clenched. Alright, open this. Or turn on even, I guess. Easy peasy, lemon, squeeze it. Go away, Mimic. Oh, with Brain Rot, that Mimic just got deleted. Jeez, I always forget Brain Rot does the, uh, the goods for them. Oh, insta-kill, perfect. Actually perfect. That's probably the best- the single best thing I could have gotten. First time I did this, it was the single easiest, like, thing I've ever done. 
every time afterwards has been just insane. Like, I think the first time I did this, I no lie killed like 20 zombies. And then in every single run afterwards for this specific, like, uh, like, I don't know, challenge, I guess, this specific contract, there's been just hundreds of zombies spawning nonstop. So either I got really, really lucky in that first run or they've done some, like, black magic to this thing and just juiced the spawns through the wazoo. Because, <laughs> Jesus Christ, what did I get? <laughs> I got an ether blade case. That's the first time I've had that. Nice. Um, what do I not want? I don't want the monkey, so give me... I didn't mean to equip that! God fucking damn it. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> That's the first time I've had that as well. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, oh, I just switched off the crown. Oh my god. Everything is just falling apart. <laughs> I just accidentally equipped the new thing that I wanted to test for a full video. And then I switched over to cryo freeze by accident. So that's like super, that's yeah. This run's just gone really, really well to like just pretty annoyingly bad. I also still don't fully know where you can get the, uh, the schematics from. Whether you can get them from this like tier 4 difficulty or if you can only get them from the tier 5 difficulty which is through the elder sigils i've heard like conflicting things from a lot of people some people say they get it in tier 4 some people say they get it in tier 5 like the tier 4 drops just like a lot lower but i don't really know what and who i want to believe <laughs> you know i am also wondering if the rewards from mega a bombs are better in this area i would assume they are right surely they have to be Right? You're fighting, like, the second hardest tier of boss. But, like, in my head, the reward from killing this guy should be pretty tasty. I just wish I could have two minutes so I could actually do some damage. Oh, there is a deadbolt turret in here. Oh, god damn it. I didn't think it spawned in here when you're in the tier four. Oh, I should have kept that goddamn circuit board. I could have sworn when I came in here yesterday or the day before I didn't see it. So I just kind of assumed they took the deadbolt turrets out of the this uh, difficulty. But that's on me. Whoops. You've got to be, like, right up close to him, though, when he's doing that attack, just so you can, like, absolutely maximize your damage with this thing. Like, with the tier, you can actually ha you can have, like, a bit of distance between you and the Omega Abomination when he does that laser attack, and you still do, like, pretty nice damage. With the Basilisk, though, you've got to be, like, right beneath him to actually get the maximum damage. Like, the range on this thing, even though, like, I've built in two range pretty, like, pretty aggressively, not incredible. I have no idea how much damage I just did then, because it didn't track. There we go, he's dead. Hey, give me some banging loot. I will take a refined crystal. I just recouped the two <laughs> most expensive items I used at the beginning of this run, so I will call that a day well done. Like, I do have a couple of Elder Sigils just sitting in my stash. I just don't know if I want to use them or not, because I'm not going to lie, I don't want to die, and I feel like I'm going to die if I go in with, in like, an Elder, elder like, difficulty by myself. You know? I just, I don't play the game in a way that will allow me to survive, because I play like a tit, you know? Just that, oh my god. You see what I mean? I do that in the Elder Tier, I'm dead. Although I suppose in the Elder Tier, I wouldn't be using the Basilisk, I'd be using the Tier, so who knows? I wonder if the Ether Blade works at like the, uh, the Hell's Redeemer does. No, damn it. <laughs> I was really hoping it did. But with that, that is Dark Ether done. Overall, I'd probably give this gun like a really high like 7 or like a low 8 out of 10 rating. Like it, it's not quite on the level of like some of the best guns in the game, you know, tier, longbow, crossbow, all that business. But like it is in the next tier below where it's just, it's very, very good. This is the build I used in the video if you want to go check it out for yourselves. With that, my name is Masach. Thank you for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.